I'm Lynn. And I'm Rachel, and we are here from the Chattanooga Public Library. And today we're here so that we can go through a really cool vintage craft uh, to help you put together some DIY tools, skills, and some art. So we're going to be doing string art. Um, and the idea behind this is that you're going to have a piece of wood that you're going to hammer some nails in and you're going to make a design with some string and some nails. All I really know about it is that it is uh, from the 70s and it's an easy way to make some personalized and uh, homemade art that is special that you made that is going to be not like anybody else's. So Rachel, do you think we're ready to start? Oh, I am ready. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so we're going to talk about the supplies that you might need if you are going to do this cool craft with us. Um, it is called string art, so I, the first thing you're probably going to need is some string. <laughs> the kind of, Rachel has a lovely array of rainbow colors there. Um, and the string that we're going to be using primarily is the same kind of thread that you'd make friendship bracelets out of. It's called embroidery floss or embroidery thread. And we also had at the library in our craft stash, we had some really skinny thread in blue and green that is a little bit like dental floss in its thickness. Um, and it is the same kind of thread that they use to make lace doilies and make lace out of. So um, it's a crochet thread. So any kind of thread that you had lying around probably would work if it was the color and thickness that you liked. Uh, the other thing that you're gonna need is something to tie those pieces of thread around. So some nails here, we have some one inch nails here that we have, a little cap. The important thing is, is that they have a little, little flat hat on them so that you've got something to put the string on and it won't just pop right off. Um, then, uh, oh yeah, something to hammer them with, <laughs> the hammer. And then something to hammer it into, here we go. So what, is there anything special we need to know about the wood, Rachel? I think. Uh, you can probably use like any size wood like I don't know ours is pretty small um, But I would say Probably the biggest thing to watch out for is make sure that whatever you're using to um, Be the points that you will tie the string onto make sure that your wood is thicker than um, The nail in this case so that you don't accidentally like hammer it the whole way through ah, Then it becomes not kid friendly too dangerous <laughs> so I think that's our supply list. Oh, a design! Yes. <laughs> gonna need a design. Rachel, have you got any ideas about what your design is gonna be? I think I'm going to be doing um, an outline of uh, a D20 dice, a <gasps> three-sided dice, and all yes. of um, uh, hope our D our D and D campaign starting up. Yeah. Time hopefully soon. So I've got that lined up for me. So I went ahead and printed out mine. I'm going to shine bright like a diamond. And um, I've printed mine out. There are a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, you can print out your design like I did, and then you can lay it um, on top of your wood like this as you're getting ready to nail it. Or if you don't have a printer, uh, you can try it with tape. Um, Rachel has some regular old clear tape and a pen, and you can Put the general outline of your shape, uh, make it out in tape, and then draw on the tape the lines that you'd like to follow with your nails. All right, let's see if we can get this to work here. I've got regular old tape tape, and I'm going to tape mine to the <laughs> to the wood, and we'll see what happens here. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Let's start with, mm, there's a lot of stuff in the middle too. Right, so just fill in the middle then, I think, and then you can draw. Yeah, I guess I'll just fill in this whole thing. Your points. With tape, okay. All right, and you have, oh, that, I think that looks cool. And you have a Sharpie or a marker or a pencil or something. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a, a pen. Instead, I think it'll work better, so. Got it. All right, so let's make that first line. Uh, <laughs> you can do it! Let's see. Got one like there, and we got a point like 
there, and we got a point like there. Oh boy, oh boy, this is not going to be even. That's okay. That makes it unique. And besides, nothing in nature even is perfect, right? That is true. Wait, let's, let's move that dot there. Oh, and look, it comes off pretty well. So if That's you awesome. accidentally put one in there, let's see. Wait, is that all the points I need? I think that right. might be all the points that I need. Do you want to attempt drawing one line to the other? Yeah. All get, right. Let me get something with a straight edge. Oh, this is going to be indistinguishable. No, I can already see it. Yeah, and then this is where our string is going to go. All right, it's a little bit, it's a little bit wonky, but that's okay. No, it totally looks amazing. I, I can see the 3D nature of it already. I think and I'm gonna hold my little taped, yeah, taped picture up. I think we might be ready to start hammering. I can't wait. <laughs> All right, and should we try to do our first nails together? Ooh, boy, yeah, let's do it. Do it. Let's do our first nails together. <laughs> And so after we hammer all of our nails in, we I'm going to be able to just rip off my paper and you're going to be able to just pull up your tape and so the, the design will be, disappear underneath the string. All right, are we, tell me when you're ready. We're going to carefully we're going to carefully hold our nail and gent, like gently hammer and not smash our fingers, right? Hopefully. Ready, set, go. Let's see. You only want to do just a little bit in so that it it is in there and holds the, the design down. Oops, I didn't do it hard enough because I got scared. Ooh, mine's going in crooked. All right, let's see. Mine is two. I think it'll be okay. The string will straighten it out. That'll be a, it'll be an illusion. That's true. Okay, mine isn't far enough that it isn't wobbly. Same. All right, so we, we, I don't know if you can see it behind, behind me. <laughs> We've got, a, it's about, I don't know, it's still sticking out about almost a whole inch. Yours is too. Yeah. Um, and so we will lightly hammer all the way around our edges and any points where the design intersects, you'll want to put a nail. So that means for me, I will put them in these spots as well as the points along the outside. And you want along the outside to do it every, I don't know, it's just an evenly spaced apart when I was looking at the other examples out in the world. So I'm gonna put mine like this far apart and see if it works here. What is that? So far enough apart that I could get some string in there, but not so close together that I can't hold them. We're going to be doing it like midway through my design since mine is so small. All right. And I guess try to hammer them sort of evenly. I don't know. Can you sort of see? Oh, wow. That's really close together. I know. I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm a little nervous about them being that close together, but I'm going to, I'm going to go for it and see what happens. Let's see how, yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I may have to change it, but it's kind of small. So I thought it would give it more detail. Yeah. We'll see how that works. Okay, and in the meantime, I guess now we're going to just start hammering the daylights out of our, our artwork here, and then we'll come back together and show you our process for stringing it, and hopefully it works out. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Good luck, Rachel. I'll see you on the other side. See ya. So I have my design taped, and I am starting to hammer my nails in and I'm hammering a nail in at any point where the lines intersect. And I'm just gonna go around my design, hammer them in, make sure that they're sturdy.
I just wanted to slow it down a second so that I could show you an easy way to make a slip knot. You can use this for all kinds of string art. Wrap your string around twice, take the front loop, put it over the back loop, and pull the loop through like that. You make a slip knot, just slip it over your nail there and pull it tight. Start moving your string around the nails. When you're tying off the nail, just tie a knot like you would in a shoe string. It just kind of right over left or left over right and then just pull it around the nail. No special fancy thing needed. I just wanted to slow it down one more time to show you how to make that slip knot. Grab it twice, pull the first one over the second, pull it through. And now I'm just making new colors wherever I sort of feel like it. I'm trying to follow the lines on the design. Just looping around. Pull tight, loop around. Last color I picked white thread to just go all the way around the edges. I don't really know why I liked that. I just thought maybe it would make it look a little sparklier somehow. <laughs> mm -hmm. And again, it's no fancy trick of tying off the end. Just pull a little knot around your last nail. Give them all a snip. Now it's time to rip the paper off. Here we go. I realized that I missed some of the nails with my white string, so I had to go back. <laughs> so I tied on another loop and then finished the wrap last few wraps. Mostly I just wanted to show that even after you take the pattern off underneath, it doesn't mean you have to be done. You can always go back in and add more thread or more colors to your design. Here's my finished design. It's pretty thick on the sides, a little 3D looking with the darker thread under the lighter thread. I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. And here's Rachel's. You guys can make your own and share your pictures of it on social media. Tag us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you next time. Bye.